Good morning, one and all. This is Sagarnath Kumar, lecturer, Department of Education, RSS program. Let us have a discussion on a very important topic that is VSA the theory of cognitive development. This theory has great importance because in curricular point of view, you can find it in intermediate, in graduation level, in PG level, in BA level, in MAT level. Also, this has a practical importance because the as for the teacher's point of view, teacher can come to know the individual difference, an individual difference in the viewpoint of cognitive development. And in the student point of view, the student it is very interesting because student can understand that how the uh, cognitive development occurs in from the childhood till adolescence age. So let us come to the topic that is the development of cognitive structure and function. Uh, let us have a uh, discussion on his life sketch. He was born in Switzerland and uh, uh, he has uh, done his PhD and received or received his PhD from University of Nostel in 1918 and married to uh, Valentine Chatney in 1923 and he has three children one is um, named uh, Jacqueline, Lucien and Laurent. Why I'm uh, quoting these three children because Piaget focused on his experiment by taking his three children and as his subject and he just uh, found out the cognitive st the stages of cognitive development in uh, Jacqueline Lucien and Laurent and uh, uh, formulated the theory of cognitive development. He was basically a developmental psychologist but uh, prior to that he has keen interest in biology and philosophy so he was also otherwise known as genetic epistemologist and uh, at the age of 11 he has published a very uh, pretty paper uh, in the national journal uh, um, um, by taking the subject as, as Alvino Sparrow and uh, Alvino is nothing but uh, due to gene mutation the morphological features or some features genetic features change in a in an organism that is so that is why it is called albino you can see in different in the next slide the sparrow what exactly the sparrow looks like and this is the sparrow white color this is because of uh, gene mutation the sparrow looks like white and uh, before formulating the stages of cognitive development fears they have just given three important aspects of cognitive development first one is schema and schema is nothing but the instinct who is present in a individual when it take birth first the schema like uh, sucking is a schema looking is a schema grasping is a schema and uh, just following is a schema also and uh, further he recommended Cognitive function, you can see in the figure, in the first figure, the child and the, and the mother wandering in a garden, and while wandering, the child saw a butterfly and asked his mother, asked her mother, what exactly this is. The mother told her it's a butterfly. Tell her why it is a butterfly because it can fly. So, in the very next day, in the next picture, you can see very next the child confronted with a bird. And child asked his mother, it's a butter, it's a very beautiful butterfly. Mother told, no, it's not a butterfly, it's a bird because it has big butterfly has not butterfly having wings, but the bird have not appeal. So in this way, the cognitive function occur that means through assimilation or accommodation. So uh, when a child confronted with a new situation, the mental disturbance occur and the disturbance try to be in the next phase it will be equilibrated through assimilation or accommodation assimilation is the process in which the child know the uh, new things by linking with old things what already known 
to a new things by linking and accommodation as a whole the child account you can see in the previous example the child accommodated butterfly and uh, try to assimilate it with the word and after the after that the child further accommodated word then stages of cognitive development there are four stages of cognitive development according to Piaget. first one is sensory motor which continues from zero to two year pre-operational stage which is continuous from three to seven year and the further pre-operational stage divided into two parts one is pre-conceptual and intuitive phase pre-conceptual continues from three to four year intuitive continues from five to seven year then the third stage is concrete operational stage which is continuous from eight to eleven year then last one is formal operational stage in sensory motor stage the child child come to know everything by sensory by looking by sucking by staring by touching this type sense sensor gun that is so that's why it is called sensory motor this uncoordinated reflexes like sucking looking reaching are uh, the characteristic feature of sensory motor stage and uh, towards the four month that's the uncoordinated reflexes are modified to coordinated schemas and try to grasp everything try to put everything in mouth and uh, towards eight month the child think that uh, the there is object permanence that means object permanence is the characteristic feature another characteristic feature of sensory motor stage that means at that stage the child if you put a, a toy inside the blanket the child try to find out by uh, just uh, like uncover the blanket this is uh, and towards the eighth month then uh, the child starts formal imaging formal mental imaging language motor exploration etc in the next phase pre personal stage which is uh, divided in pre-conceptual phase in the pre-conceptual phase concept formation is very much difficult so uh, at this stage the child told all men are papa all females are mama so this is called neither inductive reasoning nor deductive reasoning it's uh, otherwise called transductive reasoning and more important thing is that the creative plane and animism are two imagine and um, creative plane and animism are two things which happen in these stages creative play that means the child try to prepare some rice star by taking some leaves sand particles and uh, try to play with and make it and animism, animism the child think that every doll having having lives that's why that's why uh, the child try to feed the doll the child to if you just uh, throw the doll the child will start cry that in, that means animism and egocentrism is um, another characteristic feature that means sun and moon are following him that is uh, uh, you can say the sun is the sun is in a particular place they will not believe egocentric they think that what they are thinking is right only that's a egocentrism next one is intuitive has where reversibility is absent and absence of conservation also if you say rama moves from a to b the distance covered by him from a to b is same as b to a they will not believe it and conservation is that means if you put two glass of water same amount of water and put one glass of water into a narrow tube and ask the child who is one having more water the child will say the narrow tube having more water you can say in the figure the next one is concrete operational stairs in this test the child can uh, understand the things if you put two uh, one glass of water into narrow tube the child say the, put the glass having same water and their thinking become more logical and organized but still not concrete child begins use inductive logic reasoning from specific information to a general principle next phase is formal operational stage in this has abstract thinking takes place the teens begin to think more about moral philosophical ethical social and political issue and uh, require theoretical and abstract reasoning begin to use reductive logic that means uh, 
the child can move from a theory to a conclusion or reasoning from general to principle or specific information that means the child can move from a particular general theory to a particular conclusion so this is deductive reasoning and the child to try to be accepted in the society in this formal operational stage nothing but very important stage and it, this is the adolescent stage in this stage the child develops the friendship between uh, um, between both sexes that in fem female try to be friend with male friends and male try to be friend with female friends these are the cognitive development occurs in the formal operational stage and this is a great implication in educational context the, the teacher can understand the individual difference the student can uh, understand his own stages of development so that he can uh, in, he can just uh, utilize it in his study and uh, this cognitive development helps the researcher also for developing new theories also the curriculum framework can utilize this theory while forming the curriculum this is all about thank you all